So we're here in the Lisa Viejo and we're doing a tile roof uh, leak inspection. Customers got a uh, roof, roof leak in it. We're going to check it out. You can see weather looks looks like it could be raining at any time. Uh, Lisa Viejo is pretty much full of concrete tile roofs. So this particular roof right here is a flat tile, slate, monier, concrete tile roof, standard weight, and they have a leak right about here showing up where the wall and the ceiling meet in their dining room there's a really big window in their dining room and uh, right where the wall and the ceiling meet together at the bottom they had a pretty good stain about two feet long showing up there and uh, they had noticed it before and they want to get it fixed before the winter comes so inside probably the leak is showing up right about there inside the house and if you look here, you see no broken tiles or anything. This is just considered like a field area. This is a tin run, which it can be coming from. But most likely, we find out that this valley area right here, it collects a lot of water from all here. All the water from up here goes down here. You see it makes a little trail. And that's right where the problem is. Most likely, we're going to find that it starts up here. And that's what you're gonna have to take apart so when you're fixing roofs you always want to, if you ever get a roof leak and it's under a valley the valley is probably the problem so you're gonna to have to remove tiles all the way around this get this piece of valley out and then remove the tiles all the way down to here get this piece of metal out don't let the roofer leave the tile pan in you have to take that out which means you have to get these tiles off this valley metal off this felt off and these e-boards and you can look straight down and you can finish off this tin run and make sure it's properly done i'll show you what's underneath there usually you see slip tiles people hate to get up underneath here and they don't yeah you can see the tiles already coming down yeah that little cubby hole you need to expose that to make sure this metal right here you have to take it out in order to take it out, you have to take this out right here. In order to take this out, you got to take this out. So all this stuff needs to be taken out. And we're going to probably find a water trail that uh, falls into their home right here and starts, I bet you, right about here. So we'll have the difficulty to tile roof leak detection is having a contractor out here who has the experience to know what is causing the leak. Otherwise, you, the roofer just fixes like a little area and it doesn't go away or the water gets underneath the tiles which it does bumps into his repair and moves and goes over here they can do that redirect the water underneath there and then you just get another leak and basically he just ends up selling you on a new roof telling your roof is a problematic and you need all new take off all these tiles reuse them do a layover you get a cheap job and you end up calling me back later anyways so um <clears throat> whenever we do these roof leak detection we always take a look at everything any maintenance that needs to be done when people reseal your flashings these are pipe flashings for your plumbing you want to make sure they don't just smear a ton of uh, asphalt or some something on them you can see this one right here somebody resealed it just put a ton on there and look at they actually missed they missed the connection they put on just a whole heap and missed i can see a crack right there where water goes in so there's a pipe that was resealed and believe it or not most roofers can even screw that up and too much sealant is a sure indicator that somebody doesn't know what they're doing plus it's usually the wrong sealant and it is slip tiles this is what they would call a slip tile it is moved out of place looks like it actually broke it's not just slipped but it's broken and then slipped out of place and make sure your roofer just doesn't uh, kick these back in place a lot of times you can see the little broken edge right here Look at this little broken edge that needs to come out but you get the roofer and they'll simply basically put a little caulking like right here put a little caulking right here and then they just start going like this just kick it back in place that's what they'll do and then eh, a little bit of caulking when it connects it squeezes out and they go that's fixed that needs to be removed and replaced and you always have to check the under see the under limit it needs to be fixed this is a dual layer paper that's the first layer this is the second layer you can see the sun totally burned out the second layer so they don't have all the protection that they're supposed to have so in order to fix this you just have to remove a little area of tile right here real small we do it real quick cut out this damaged piece don't leave it and put in a new piece and then you're good so you always want to make sure they just don't kick these back in place because sometimes there's a problem underneath there 
Now, um, this homeowner, she, this is her master bedroom area right here. And she pointed to the middle of her bedroom, which is right about here, and says she hears like a, a dripping noise. And it's what it is, is this fireplace uh, is supports the flue from the first place chimney. It attaches to the outside of the house and runs up through the roof. And she's got water coming off here. And that's the dripping sound that she's hearing. When you're in a room, you don't see a fireplace, basically, so you have no idea what it is, but that's what it is. I can see now, and there's really going to be no way to solve this, and short of putting, like, a little stupid piece of gutter or something like that around there, so she's probably just going to have to deal with that noise. I'm not going to be able to do much to solve that. Um, over here, see, another slip tile. So you just want to investigate. Remember, uh, don't let roofers just kick these up into place. That's what they want to do. See a little slip tile. I see this. They just go, here we go. That's your, we'll fix all your slip tiles for nothing. They just kick it up into place. Just like that. But if you look closely, look at the underlayment. It's actually damaged. It's all the way through. See that? That's decking. That's a leak. This, look at this underlayment. It's totally bad. The whole roof don't look like that. Just right here does need to fix that don't just let him kick this in place we'll just kick him back in place check each one check everything you see another one right here oh, that little gap somebody already tried to use a tile adhesive to hold it in place weak inferior you're gonna have to break the bond like I just did that one you may be able to carefully put back in place when you push this one back in place you brought put a pry bar right here lift this one up and then carefully push this one back in place you can do that and there again look at that tons of sealant and he missed the collar right there look at that missed the collar wow that needs to be removed and resealed that's garbage work right there um i'm going to show you a little something about chip tiles and broken tiles so you can see they would call this a corner chip a chipped corner but any corner that is chipped more than three inches needs to be replaced this tile right here goes all the way up 17 inches and it ends right here so when you have a broken piece like this the water is actually going under the tile more than it's supposed to manufacturer specifications state that only 80 percent of the water that hits the roof sheds off the roof 20 percent gets underneath that's what your roofing water paper your felt paper whatever they have that's what it waterproofs but when you get more than 20 percent under that's when you start getting roof leaks you can see this tile badly cracked big old chip and look at that's going right into the roof so this is a chip that's too big to repair you got to replace it so it's going to need to be replaced some chips you can just re repair a little chip tile here's a little piece of chip tile that's small you could fix that if you wanted to these are other look at there's another chip tile see that that's tiny no big deal sometimes you'll find a piece laying around the roof and you can just put it back Sometimes you don't. There's another one, real small. You could just put that one back. Let me see if I see the chip. Sometimes the chip tiles are up here. Yeah, see, here's one right here. A little tiny chip tile. I'm just clean it out. Put a tiny bit of sealant just right here, not underneath it. You don't want to put sealant here. You just put a little bit, a little bit here. Push this one back up in there. It'll stay in place. So if we hire us to do it, we'll do it. Another slip tile, you can see. Remember, don't let them just kick these up. Check the paper and look at that. You can see right through the felt paper. That's a leak waiting to happen. Wow, that's your, that's your deck. It's done. Needs to be fixed. Even a little water getting underneath there probably. So I got a couple little repairs to do. I got a leak repair to do. We'll bid it. I have no idea if I'll get it or not. It just depends. We'll do our best. And um, that's it. We'll see you on the next one.